Mm. Wow. That was good. And best part, what's better than having delicious food with a view like this? They just keep getting better and better. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. From here, I think around there, you can see, that's where I'm gonna stop and show you guys something really cool. So the spot that I want to show you guys is in Newport, Oregon. And it has a close relationship to Boston. So this is actually what I wanted to show you guys. It's the beginning of Route 20, which is the longest route in the United States. It stretches from here all the way back to Boston. 3,365 miles. And if I could have traveled that route when I came across the country, I probably would have if I had known that. And I've driven past that sign in Boston at Kenmore Square, I don't know how many times. But it's just fascinating because a lot of people just don't know that this is where it starts. So Route 101 goes this way, and then Route 20 goes that way. It's not something you realize every day, I guess. I feel like I'm trying to make this drive, but I basically end up stopping everywhere. Like every few miles I drive past the road, I'm like, wow, this is even more spectacular. So I'm making kind of like no progress at all today. But that's okay, to be honest. Like it just helped out these firefighters too with taking a picture of their engines, which I thought was like really a, a cool thing to do, just kind of randomly sporadic. Um, so hopefully they get the footage that they want. Um, I really try my best there. So this is just this one little one-way road along the coast. It's technically not part of Route 101, but I wanted to drive nearest to the coastline as possible for most of my ride. Okay, so I just stopped to cook some lunch as it's just a beautiful day in Oregon. What's kind of funny is I talked to those firefighters and they're telling me they're expecting snow tonight and then into tomorrow. Um, so I got definitely check the weather forecast because the reason why I went down south is I don't have any snow or like none of that nonsense anymore because I'm kind of tired trying to deal with that because that makes life on the road a lot harder. But nevertheless, so I cooked a rice pack, quinoa and brown rice, and then that's in here. And I cooked some tofu from Trader Joe's, a nun right here. I think. That should be very delicious as well. In no way am I a chef, but I think I can make some decent road, road life food, in my opinion. Let's get this tried. Wow. That was good. And best part, what's better than having delicious food with a view like this? So some of you asked me, what has gone wrong on your trip? Like what obstacles have you faced on the road and I don't think I already had any physical obstacles yet um, I mean I lost a mud flap the other day uh, so I have a model 3 with 3 mud flaps I think that's appropriate um, I had a little crack in my windshield right here on my right side it's very minor but I got it fixed in safe light and then I've had some like not really mechanical issues both my driver's side and passenger side tail lights uh, have fogged up. I think that's a common thing with the Tesla Model 3s lately. My 2019 model did not have an issue of their headlights getting fogged up, right, with, with, with water, some moisture in it. So it's odd to see that as the cars have gotten better, some issues have gotten worse. So update, I decided to not actually drive all the way to Port Orford today. I'm actually gonna stop in Bandon, Oregon. There's also more charging options for me to choose from. I think there's four charging stations. As for in Port Orford, there's only two.
and stretching baby all right now let's go enjoy the dinner and the sunset check out this view right here on this peaceful beach i think i've driven about 300 400 miles in the last two days i think kind of slow because speed limits are like 50 miles an hour i'm gonna enjoy the sunset and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers guys Day three, guys, of making my way down to California. Right now, we are in Coos Bay, Oregon. It's gonna be a total of four hour drive, four hours and 22 minutes, 217 miles. I should get there with 32% battery. It's kind of like a gloomy day as it was just raining and then it hailed and then the sun was shining. So it's kind of all over the place, but I still wanna drive down today. There is like a weather advisory uh, but i'm trying to get down to california to santa clarita for this saturday's tesla meetup uh, i want to be social with other people oh let's just give me it right away that was just a construction sign and she was waving me on california here we come So one of the reasons why I decided to leave later today than I usually do when I drive is because the National Weather Service had forecasted a storm over this region that I'm over right now until like 9 a.m. this morning. So right now it's like 10.30. So I decided just to wait to sit out the storm basically because um, some of these stretches on 101 are still like, I would say re remote in, in some ways and they were really like urging people to stay off the roads and that down trees could severely impact travel and i just passed a construction zone where there was a down tree and they just cleaned it up another precaution sometimes that i take when i'm doing these long road trips is to make sure that i uh, check the weather forecast something very simple but it can uh, save you a lot of headache and it can even save your life So I'm driving through Langlios, Oregon right now. I probably didn't even say that right. Uh, but I can definitely still feel the headwind and the crosswind from the storm I just left. It's just the reminiscences just left. Um, it's telling me here that the 11.3 wind from the north has saved this trip 0.6%, which I'm not really sure exactly what that means. I can definitely feel the wheel like jerking back and forth a little bit when it's driving because of the amount of crosswind. So that's interesting. That's something that I should keep track of because I had a live projection that I would get to my destination with about like 40% battery and now it's gone all the way down to 30. Welcome to Port Ortford. This was supposed to be one of the places that I was going to stay at night. But I ended up changing my schedule because the charging stations here are a little bit unreliable. There's two, only one works. And if there's another electric car around here, then I would have to share, which can be an issue if you're depending on that charge to get you from point A to point B. I am looking for some killer Mexican food because I am quite hungry, actually. This is the worst. <laughs> Slides. I guess they're preparing some of that right here. Look at that. Beautiful. My goodness. It's like even hard for me to really capture the moment for you guys. As I don't think my video really captures the true beauty of what I'm seeing right now. So what do you do when you're in Gold Beach, Oregon? Well, you grab a burrito. La casita 
de oro, Mexican food. I'm good, how about yourself? Uh, I'll take to go, please. The best burrito I've had. I'm, I'm not kidding you. Plus, like, the chips, the side of it. Oh, we really appreciate it, thank you. Thank you, guys. Ten times better than Chipotle. Check out this side of the burrito, dude. La Casita de Oro. The house of gold. In Gold Beach. Makes sense. That was some good Mexican food. So if you're ever in Gold Beach, Oregon, visit La Casita de Oro. Thank you, Brycida, for giving me a little informational seminar on what to do if there is a tsunami, because there's a bunch of signs here around town that says you are in a tsunami area. So that's kind of interesting because I'm not used to that. Today, it's probably the best Mexican food I've had, and I've had a lot on the road. Um, Chipotle, I would give like, four out of ten stars and this place i'll probably give it like a nine out of ten so let's keep driving it's insane i need a minute just to let it sink in the distance i've driven the last like four months wow I can't believe it, I made it to California. My heart's racing. I did this cross country trip years ago, 2019, uh, when I had a Ford Escape. And I did it in four days, I drove across country. It was insane. Like honestly, I saw not a lot of the country. It was just a lot of driving. All right, we'll take a couple pictures and then head to the spot where I'm gonna set up the shop for tonight. I still got like, I think 800 miles left to the place that I want to go to, uh, to the end of Route 101, which is in Los Angeles apparently. I actually made the mistake of thinking it was San Diego, because it used to be San Diego, but they discontinued the route a long time ago, I think in Excuse me. Do you guys are the locals, right? Do you, do you know where I can find the beach for the sunset? Aren't you guys the locals? You guys should know. So guys, that concludes day number three of driving the Pacific Coast Highway. I'm so thankful for you guys for spending time with me as I travel, travel the world essentially. Today is Valentine's Day, so don't forget to treat yourself. And my Valentine this year is my mom. And it, she will always be my Valentine's Day. Last year, I lost my dad to cancer and I have just seen how strong she is, how independent she is. And that inspires me. That gives me the courage to go after what I wanna do in my life as well. Not being afraid, letting fear push me forward, not stop me. As my day comes to an end, and I'm watching this sunset right now. This is kinda of random, but if you're looking for really great blankets, blankets for everywhere, check out Rumpel. I will link them down below in the description. 
Uh, my sister got me this blanket and this is what keeps me warm at night. Uh, it's keeping me warm right now. So it's definitely approved on the beach as well. But as always guys, stay adventurous. I'll see you guys on the open road. Cheers. Not gonna lie, that was the perfect time. Fly your kite nice.